You're listening to the My Simplified Life podcast, and this is episode number 200. Welcome to the My Simplified Life podcast, a place where you will learn that your past and even your present don't define your future. Regardless of what stage of life you're in, I want you to feel inspired and encouraged to pursue your dreams, simplify your life, and start taking action today. I'm your host, Michelle Glogovac, and I'm excited to share my stories and life lessons with you while taking you on my own journey. This is my simplified life. Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Michelle Glogovac, and it's not just any other episode. It's episode number 200. I can't even fathom that I've been recording 200 episodes. It started over four years ago, last month in September, and I remember getting to episode number 100 and thinking, wow, it has really been a while since I started this, and now four years, 50,000 downloads, hitting charts uh, in different countries too, and now I'm on episode number 200. That's It's mind-boggling that I've been doing this week after week for so long, and yet I wouldn't have it any other way. I absolutely love getting to talk to you every single week, getting to interview the most incredible human beings who are changing the world for the better. And ultimately, that is what I'm realizing the podcast has taught me. I started this as a way to get to know myself, to get to know others, to use my voice. I've realized that in speaking on this show, I've gotten better at using my voice, at speaking out for what I believe is right, for pointing out what is wrong, for letting you all know not just what I believe in, but why I believe it, in sharing how I talk to my children about certain things that are going on in the world. And it feels that in the past four years, there's been a lot of heavy stuff that's going on, and this week is no exception. We are literally witnessing videos on TV and social media of innocent people being kidnapped, being raped, being murdered by the terrorist group Hamas. And once again, this is not an easy topic to dissect. This is not a black and white per se when we look at the history of what has gone on. But the part that is black and white is that innocent people are being murdered. And I don't stand for that. The hard part is explaining to my children why this is happening, what is going on, and then to have my daughter say, is this going to happen to us? Could they come get us or do they like us? She sees already at seven years of age that there's a difference in who might like you because of what you believe in. And that's disgusting. It's so sad and heartbreaking. And that is why. I use this platform to speak my truth. I shared with you during COVID when we saw Black Lives Matter protests coming up and George Floyd being murdered, how I discussed this with my children then and what we went through as a family to make sure that our children understand right from wrong and that things aren't okay and that you need to speak up for those who don't have a voice. That is why I have this show. That is why I show up on social media. And it isn't always roses and flowers and unicorns and rainbows. People don't don't agree with me. People unfollow me. And I've said it before. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. If you unfollow me because I spoke the truth, that's okay. I'm fine with it. Last night I posted and I already lost about 10 followers. And I'm okay with it. In today's world, the word authentic that you all know I despise, is so prevalent. Everyone wants to come across as being authentic, (laughs) but coming across as authentic means that really you are not who you say you are on a certain platform because you're showing up in a different way, in a different light somewhere else in life. To truly be authentic is to show up as yourself, wherever that may be. It's to post online what you believe in. It's to speak out for those 
who need to be spoken for. It's to show your support in what you believe in. It's to let your friends know that you are there, that you're going to show up no matter where it is, online, on social media, on a podcast, in person, the same person that you are everywhere. The greatest compliment I've received is that to know me is to know me no matter what. I will always show up as the same person. Whether you meet me online, if we're in a DM, an email, a Zoom call, or you see me at the park or the school playground, I am the same person. I will use my voice and I will stand up for others. That is what this show is about. That is what this show has taught me that it is okay to use your voice, and more of us need to use our voice. I I so often am seeing people who just silently stand by, and to me that is not okay to remain silent. By remaining silent, we are seeing everything happening in our world continue to happen. Why? Why is it that the Jewish community is once again suffering? And that's not to say that the Palestinians are are not suffering. I fully understand that. I get that there's a history. But to be called out and say, for me saying that I support my Jewish friends because I understand what they have been through and what they continue to go through, and to wake up in the morning and to see more damage and vandalism caused to Jewish businesses simply because they are a Jewish business owner is not okay. It will never be okay to rejoice at the death of someone else. That's disgusting. So if somebody calls me out for speaking the truth about that, then so be it. Go ahead. But that is where we need to draw the line. We need to stand up and to speak out on behalf of ourselves, on behalf of others, whether they are friends or not. The more we speak up and speak out for what we believe in, Only then can we change the world. Only then will acceptance of others start to become a reality. This morning at school drop-off, my daughter was first in line, and she pointed to another little girl and said, oh, you can come in front of me. And I said, that's not fair. You don't let people cut in line when there's a whole other 25 people behind you. That's not fair. And she said, well, other people do it. And my answer to her was, well, we aren't other people. That's what I want you to remember. You aren't other people. You are your own individual self. You have a voice. You can use that voice for good. Be that person, not the other people. Don't be the one who stands in the corner and stays silent. I know this brings a level of discomfort for many, but at some point, You have to stand up for what you believe in. As uncomfortable as it may be, as much as your blood may curl and your heart will race fast and you might get shaky as to the nervousness of, should I really be doing this and speaking out? But if it's for the greater good, then you should. If it's to help people who are not given a voice, whose voice has been taken away, then they deserve to have you stand up for them. This podcast has taught me that it's okay to use my voice on my platform. It won't always be accepted, but I feel it's my duty to do that. I'm not saying that you have to have a podcast in order to speak your voice. There are plenty of places right now in which your voice is needed. Your actions are needed. People need to see others, to hear others stand up for one another in order to feel comfortable doing it themselves. That's the only way that we can truly be authentic, is to be ourselves. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for others. We were all given a voice. To not use it is simply wasting it. I want my children to grow up using their voices. I want them to see the world with their eyes wide open. And yes, it isn't always a beautiful world that we live in. And yet, the more we see of it, the more our eyes are able to also identify all the good there is, all of the good people 
who are standing up for others, who will take a stand for each other. We were recently in Hawaii, and the atmosphere is just so completely laid back and different from life here in San Jose. I wanted to bottle it up, and I joked that I wish it could be fairy dust that I could sprinkle around Silicon Valley to let people slow down, to not run through the pedestrian crosswalk while the lights are blinking and someone is trying to cross because they're too busy on their phone heading to work. To really just slow down and say thank you when someone lets you in while driving. It's truly as simple as that, and yet there's so many bigger things that are going on. But if we start small and start at home, start on the drive to school, start on the drive after you've dropped the kids off and you're now racing against all of the parents to get home so you can start your work day. We just simply need to start. And by starting, we can show up as ourselves and we can show up for one another. And I really believe that that's the way we're going to have a better world, that we might be able to find peace. Unfortunately, we have a lot of people in charge that are thinking the opposite of this. But as time goes on, and as we continue to grow as a group of human beings who are there for one another, who recognize the pain, the suffering, and the hardship that others are going through, then maybe we can start to see peace. We can start to see change. We can see more love. And the next generation can do better. Our children are witnessing all of this. They continue to witness it. So I wonder what's going to happen as they grow up. What will their children witness? I don't want my children to witness any more hate. And yet that's what the world continues to have out there. I want them to witness love, respect, and people standing up for one another. I want the world to be a better place. And I truly hope and pray that by sharing my views, sharing who I stand up for, calling out right and wrong, and having my voice put out there on this show, that I'm doing my part in changing the world to make it a better place for you, for me, for my kids, for your kids, and for all of the future generations. Use your voice because it's needed. Share your story. Share why you're standing up for other people. That's the way to be authentic. Be yourself. Share of yourself. It won't always be easy, but I truly feel it will be worth it. Thank you for listening, and thank you for helping me make it to 200 episodes.